In the New Zealand Sea Rise Program, we are including accurate measurements of vertical land movement into our sea level projections for the future. We're using a couple of different instruments to make these estimates. Global positioning satellites um, that are sitting in some of the hills behind us, um, attached to the rocks, accurately measuring change in the, in the position of the rock through time is, is one method we're using. But we're also using um, radar systems that are, that are based on satellites that are orbiting the Earth um, above us right now. Um, these, orbit, these satellites repeat their orbits and fire a radar beam down to the surface of the Earth, hits the Earth, reflects back, and can actually measure um, the, the elevation of the land at sub-millimeter scale. And as those orbits repeat and additional measurements are made, you can actually detect change in the surface elevation of the Earth um, at, at very high resolution. So we're able to use those satellite interferometry, those satellite radar data and the GPS data to combine to get accurate measurements of changes in, in the surface elevation. And we're doing this, this every two kilometres around um, the coastline of, of New Zealand, the 15,000 kilometres of New Zealand's coastline, making these measurements so that we can incorporate them into our sea level projections. Where the land is going up, we can show that the amount of sea level rise will be less than you would predict if you weren't considering those vertical land movement estimates. Where the land is sinking, it's going to amplify the amount of sea level rise in the future.